Good morning, everybody. I hope you are doing great today. So we are going to work on this problem today, which is to find a third moment of the group data. Okay, we have been given a group data number, set of numbers with the corresponding frequency in the data set. And we have been also given the mean of this data set. So third moment, oops. The third moment M3 is equal to third moment is equal to sum of X, that is each number subtracted from the mean of the data set cubed multiplied by frequency of each number divided by total n. So x bar is the sample of population mean, population mean or sample mean, whatever the case. Um, x is the number, f is the frequency of the number, And N is the total population size. And this symbol is Greek sigma is sum. So sum of the distance of each number from the mean or deviation of each number from the mean cubed multiplied by its frequency. So we find the product for all of the numbers and add those products and divide by the total population size. So let's uh, create some space. And do this M3 is equal to, <clears throat> so uh, we also need to know the first number. Uh, we we'll keep it like this. So M3 will be 12 is the first number is distance from the mean deviation from the mean that is to be cubed and then multiplied by the corresponding frequency we repeat it for all the numbers 14 minus is deviation from the mean cubed times is frequency 4 plus 16 minus 17.6 cubed times its frequency, which is 6, plus 18 minus 17.6 cube of the deviation multiplied by its corresponding frequency, plus 20 times minus 17.6, that deviation is cubed, times its corresponding frequency, plus 22 minus 17.6 cubed times corresponding frequency. Okay, so let me create some space. And let's erase this and write this in a nice way. Okay. And the whole thing is divided by population size, which is 30. So M3 is equal to, so what I will do is I will subtract each number from its mean or deviation of each number from the mean, then cube that deviation. In a minute, I'll get my calculator.
So what I will do is take the deviation of the first number from the mean, which is 12 minus 17.6, then cube it. That is multiplied itself three times and then multiplied by the corresponding frequency. So 12 minus 17.6 is negative 5.6 and then I cubed it. So exponent it to power of three and that is minus So this is, the first one is minus 175.6, uh, one six. It's only to two places of decimal, times one, so it is the same number. Then the next one is 14 minus 17.6, then I'll exponent it to 3. It's minus 46.656 times 4. Times the frequency is 4. So it is minus, uh, it is this, minus 186.6. Okay, next one is 16 minus 17.6, which is negative 1.6. And then I cube it or raise it to the power of 3 and then multiply with the corresponding frequency, which is 6. And this is minus 24.58. Okay. Okay, and then the next one is uh, 18 minus 17.6, cube it, and then multiply times 10, multiplied by 10, and that is minus 0 0.6. Uh, sorry, is positive. This is positive. 18 minus 17.6. So this is 18 minus 17.6 is 0.4. When you cubed it, it's 0 0.064 times uh, uh, 10 is positive. So it's plus 0.64. Plus 0.64. And then it is plus. 20 minus 17.6. Take the difference and cube it. And then multiply it with the corresponding frequency, which is 7. So it is 96.96. 96 and the last one is 22 minus 17.6. Take the difference, cube it, and then multiply it with the corresponding frequency, which is 2. And that is 170.37. And the whole thing is divided by, remember, the total population size, the sum of all the frequencies, which is 30. So M3 is equal to, so I'll start with the positive numbers. So it is 0.64 plus 96.77 minus, I'm um, sorry, plus 170.37. So the first three, last three numbers are added, okay? And then I will subtract from them minus 175.62 and then minus 
So let me do it again. <clears throat> Clear. Okay. Clear. So I will do it like this. I will add all the numbers and then subtract the remaining numbers. So, so in parenthesis, I will write minus 175.62 with a minus sign in front of it, and then a minus 186.62, and then minus 24.58. And then to it, I add 0.64. And then I add uh, 96.77. And then I add 170.37. And that is equal to minus 119.04. That whole thing is divided by 30. So M3 is equal to <coughs> minus 3.968. Okay, so that is the third moment of this grouped data. And that's your answer. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. Please do write me a note. I really appreciate that. And also please give me thumbs up. That motivates me to do more videos just for you. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel where I solve all kinds of math problems just for you. You also please let YouTube know that you would like to be notified every time and up I upload a new video, which I do every day. So thanks for watching. So what we did here is to find the moment of a grouped uh, frequency distribution, third moment we found. So we took the deviation of each number from the mean, cubed it and multiplied with the corresponding frequency. Then we added all the products up and divided by the population size to get the third moment. I will see you in the next video where I will do the fourth moment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.